today we are in Tavares and we're going to continue our downtown tours and do a tour of downtown Tavares. The weather is looking like it could be storming on us and hopefully it just won't. But if it does, we're willing to do what we can. Let's go check it out. Definitely just had a good rain. So we're gonna start the tour right here off of Main Street. Might be kind of a little strange of a tour because we're gonna actually go Main Street over to Ruby then back over to Main Street and down this way, and that's how we're gonna do the tour. But we're starting right here at the train station. So Tavares is America's seaplane city. You'll see a lot of seaplanes, but they do have a train station right here. And they've got um, one of these little citrus label tour signs that they had in Leesburg. But it looks like the ticket window Actually gonna go under here just to get out of the rain for a second. The ticket window was right here. So you could come up here and say, I'll take a ticket, please. And the train would be waiting here. Now just on the other side of that, it looks like they've got a playground, also maybe like a splash pad. Currently it's under construction. Not sure when it's set to open, but we'll go get a better look at that. As we walk around the train station, they do have an electric charger here for your electric car charger and plenty of street parking. That's one thing that downtown Tavares has. They have a ton of parking, which is really good. But as we make our way over to this side, this is the train station, but it houses the Chamber of Commerce. And it's open Monday through Friday, 10 to four, Saturday, 10 to two. And on the other side of that, is the Tavares Museum. So you've got the train station right there. The, let's see, Tavares History Museum. So that's pretty neat. We're gonna have to do that sometime. Shows the hours up there on the door. And again, anytime we do a downtown tour, it seems like somebody's mowing. So we have that going in the background. Sorry if it's a little loud. Here we have this plaque Tavares train station. Interesting. So we'll go by the water here, just in this area, come back up and go down Ruby Street. This is St. Clair Abrams Ave and Ruby right here. Ruby's there. So we'll head down that way. Um, hopefully it won't rain on us. Hopefully we can get by without the rain. Over here they have a park, Wooten Park. Looks like they are working on rebuilding the playground, but there's also some parking down here. Looks like that's gonna be a really nice play area with this seaplane up here. They have some restrooms. They have this gazebo, large gazebo, and a little book library free library. Now, we had no idea there was a building back over here on the water. If you know what that building is, comment below so we can learn what it is. But we had no idea there was a building over here. So that's new to us. But here are the restrooms. And then we're just going to walk over here by the water. That is a cool building. You see off in the distance there, it is raining hard. Over here by these restrooms, they've got some murals painted. Pretty neat. There's a dock, thunder, and a seaplane over there. So we're going to head back up here towards Ruby Street and walk down that way. Now the reason we're doing Ruby Street as well as Main Street, seems like Ruby Street has the majority of like the restaurants on it. Um, so we wanted to show those currently on Ruby Street. And you can tell by this Ruby Street grill, the front is gonna be on Main Street there. But that looks like a really fun place to try. It sounds like a seaplane might be fired up over there and ready to go. 
but they have a Ruby Street Grill huge chair right here. It's pretty nice. They got a bar in there. Look at this playground. This little, oh, and ice cream. That's neat. I'm gonna continue walking down Ruby Street. We have, it's like a community health center, which we'll see some of these places on the other side, on Main Street. And right here, we, we have O'Keefe's Irish Pub. We are going to have to try that sometime. That looks very good. If you've eaten at some of these restaurants down here, comment below on the ones we should go to, but this one's definitely on the list as looks like our style of restaurant. And right here by the O'Keefe's restaurant. They've got this sign and it also shows a map of their downtown, which is very helpful. It shows we are here. We're gonna continue down this way, up here to Sinclair, cross over, back down Main Street. It's probably the path we're gonna go. Unless we get rained out, we'll just have to see cross over this way for a second. They've got seaplane tours, walk-ups welcome, Jones Brothers and Co. Air and Seaplane Adventure, Adventure Outdoor Paddle. That's really neat. So is their mural on the front. Looks like there's some restrooms over here. I'm not sure what this building is down here at the end. Oh, the prop shop, it says. So, looks like it's got Maybe, I think it said apparel, snacks. We can walk by it, but can't go too far. So the sign right here says, warning when aircraft are in motion, do not proceed beyond this point. Uh, not seeing any aircrafts in motion, but we'll probably stop and get back on Ruby over there. But it's the prop shop, snacks, gifts, apparel, land and sea. There are the seaplanes. We'll get back on to Ruby right here. Now, one reason we wanted to go down Ruby Street was because we've eaten at this place right here, Puddle Jumpers. We came when it was later at night, so it was pretty dark out. And with it being daytime, you can see how big this building actually is. We are now on South New Hampshire and Ruby very large restaurant. It's really good. Definitely want to go back and try some more. Looks like they've got some street parking as well as parking just over here on the other side of the building. Now there's probably a lot of facts about Tavares. So if you are a native or you know some pretty cool facts, let us know in the comments because we like learning about places like this. On up here, it looks like there are quite a few restaurants. So we'll do our best to show those, but Puddle jumpers. Right here we have Tiki West Oyster Bar, Bar and Grill. We're gonna cross over to this side. Looks like there's a is that a beach bar over there? We'll go ahead and walk by that. And then another look at puddle jumpers behind us. You see this is the puddle jumpers parking lot. And over here we have Another, the Argonaut, is that how you would say that? We have the, a bar and grill next to it. And then a real estate office. Not really sure what's above. It almost seems like they're, I don't know, condos or apartments, but up here is the Key West Resort. It is starting to rain on us. And so it's like a resort. So maybe they, actually it's the same chair. So I bet the resort, you can stay in any of these rooms up here. Not too sure about that, but um, now we're at Ruby and South Joanna. Hemingway's is on the corner. It is raining pretty good, but we're still going to push through it here. Hopefully we don't get soaked. Hopefully the volume's okay, but we have a beach bar restaurant down here at the end, as well as sand volleyball courts. Looks like a dock where you can park some boats and this Key West Resort. It looks like we're gonna have to take some shelter because it's raining pretty good. We'll come over to 
Uh, maybe we can make it up here by this Key West Resort and not be too wet. Again, there's plenty of parking, which is awesome. Um, over here, they have Hemingways. They also have this coffee place, Nautilus Coffee Co. Just getting pelted right now. Um, also, a bar, steaks and seafood restaurant. It is really raining. Um, here is the Doghouse Sports Bar. Oh, look at that building over there. That looks like the Coliseum. Taking shelter. Got the Doghouse, and then we also have the Key West Resort registration right up here. We'll have to learn more about this Key West Resort, but it's taking shelter right now. Looks like we can make it a little bit down here. Looks like the Lake County Sheriff's Office is over there. Guest check-in for the Key West Resort. And then down here at the end, Lake County Museum of Art. It's gonna be a rainy tour. Maybe it'll let up and we can go a little further down the road. Over there, it looks like some restrooms where it says America's Seaplane City. There's not much shelter. It's kind of letting up a little bit, so we're gonna continue walking, maybe speed walk. It's a speed walking tour. But here we have more of the Lake County Sheriff offices. We're gonna come up here and turn down this road and head over to Main Street and do a walk, walk down Main Street. Thing with the rain is you just never know if it's gonna get better or worse. So we know what it is right now. That's why we're going. Okay, we have Ruby and South Sinclair Ave. Looks like these are all just more of the sheriff's buildings or government buildings. I'm gonna walk up here by this roundabout. Now, not sure what these buildings are over here. So if you know what those are, let us know. We're just gonna take a right and go down Main Street this way at this roundabout. Here's the roundabout. And it looks like there's a statue of a soldier. Main Street, you can see is right here. And another citrus label tour. Love those things. Need to figure out what they do or are because there was the one in Leesburg, but this says, in memory of her soldiers and sailors. Statue right there. And then here's that cool sign. Heading this way, it looks like we've got Lake County Tax Collector and Property Appraiser Building, a parking garage over there, and then some signage telling us the county admin straight ahead, tax collector to the left, property appraiser to the left, sheriff and museum to the right, and have a nice day, always. So there's the Lake County Courthouse, guessing that houses the museum. So that'd be something cool to go into. I'm gonna keep walking down this way. Another memorial. That's something they have down here. They have a lot of memorials. There's this ginormous coliseum looking building and another memorial this is in memory of the groveland four this building over here is also planning and zoning and then here's a sign just showing where everything's at got a lot of good signage here some lake county honor roll our men and women in service crossing down this, so we are on Main Street now. Probably won't do both sides just because of the weather. So we'll probably just go down one side and film both sides instead of going down one way and coming back the other. This big Coliseum building is the Lake County Administration Building. It's really neat looking. Here's another map we can check out. It's nice they give you this map, help you get around down here. Although it's not really super hard. We are currently right there so i think we're gonna power walk through this still lightly sprinkling um what do we have community legal services on this side to start us off and also what's that place say energy and solar in that next building have this sign, Liberty Tree. Oh boy, 
rain is picking up again. Um, let's see what else we have. Crossing the big puddle here. We were just down there, that's Ruby Street. Watch our step. We have the Lake County Republican Party building, Wix, consulting services, so civil engineering, land development, things of that nature. Over here we have, looks like law, so an attorney office. And right here, an attorney's office. And that brings us to Joanna Avenue and Main Street. Looks like FBC Tavares is right over there, First Baptist Church Tavares. Guessing by their sign out in front. Over here we have Lake Professional Center, so some different offices in this building. Stopped raining for a little bit, so that is great news. Again, want to brag about all the street parking they have. Not sure what this building is. Looks empty. It was a surveying company and it has moved. They're now in Mount Dora. Interesting. Parking for Tavares Dental. So this must be a dental office. Heading on down to New Hampshire Ave and Main. And here we have Next Home Real Estate Office. So that houses a real estate company. We have a salon. We have a tattoo company. Interesting. And we have palm trees blowing in the wind. Also some public parking right over here. So there's that uh, O'Keefe's Irish pub right over there. Kind of see we've made a big circle all the way around. Up here on the left, we have do-it-yourself pest and lawn care, lawn and garden center. We have a coffee and cocktail bar. And we have burgers, tacos, and waffles. Crafted concoctions. That's what the coffee and cocktail bar is. And the BTW, burgers, tacos, and waffles. Have to try that out too. There's a ton of places to eat at. Up here at the corner of Maine and Rockingham, we have the Tavari City Hall. So the City Hall is right there. Gonna continue walking this way. On the other side, opposite side of City Hall, we have uh, community health centers. And then up here, Tavari's ice cream. That's cool. The fairies ice cream. It says they are open. Cool. Another tattoo place. And they have this mural painted. Join us on the deck. And this is for the Ruby Street Grill. Lakeside Dining. So this is what the front looks like. Across the street. Desperados Saloon. Pool, beer, food, game room. Barbecue. Asian Invasion. And then, not sure what that end building is, but that is going to bring us right back to the train station. And I think we survived the rain. So back at the Tavares train station, back where we started the video, back at the Chamber of Commerce, and now gonna get back in the car so we don't get soaked anymore. All right, so got slightly wet, but that was our tour of downtown Tavares. Like we mentioned, um, if you know some cool facts about it, comment below, comment where there's the best place to eat. We've only been to one place down there and we wanna go see and do some more reviews. Um, it was a neat little place. So um, hopefully this gave you a good idea of what the downtown area looks like. With that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.